Here is a PV diagram of a putt-putt boat with P standing for the pressure on the y-axis and V standing for volume on the x-axis. We can use this graph to answer multiple questions about the whole system in entirety and by each little part itself. First we're going to look at process A to B. We want to know what is the process? Is work being done on or by the gas? And does heat flow in or out? Now A or B, A to B is a line that travels, is a curved line that travels down from A to B. And the only process we know that does that is an isothermal process, which is where temperature stays the same. Is work being done on or by the gas? We can, we can answer this question by looking at the volume of A to B we see that the volume is increasing as it travels farther and farther so work has to be done by the gas because volume increases does heat flow in or out well we know that heat has to flow in because the molecules have to move slower so heat needs to be needs to flow in in order to keep temperature constant that's what we know with A to B. Now when we look at B to C, we want to answer the same three questions. What is the process? Is work being done on or by the gas? And is heat flowing in or out? Well, B to C is a horizontal line that travels left. And the horizontal line that travels left, we know, is an isobaric process where pressure stays constant. Is work being done on or by the gas? Again, we need to look at the volume to figure out whether work is being done on the by the gas. And we can see that the volume in this case is getting smaller. So therefore, work is being done on the gas because volume decreases. Does heat flow in or out? In this case, heat has to flow out because the molecules move at a faster rate because the volume is decreasing. So removing heat causes the pressure to stay the same. In the same process from C to A, what is the process? Is work being done on or by the gas? And is heat flowing in or out? If we look back to our diagram, C to A is a vertical line. With the process would be isovolumetric because volume is staying constant in this case. Is work being done on or by the gas? When we look at the volume, well, if the volume is constant, then work is neither being done on or by the gas. So the answer would be neither. There is no work being done whatsoever for an isovolumetric process. And does heat flow in or out? Well, in order to figure this, we need to look at this graph. And we know that everything in up and to the right on a PV diagram, temperature increases. Everything down and to the left, temperature decreases. So since this diagram shows C to A going upwards, we know that heat has to flow in so that both temperature and pressure both increase. So heat has to flow in in order for that temperature to increase since it is going up. Now that we answered all the little parts of the graph, why don't we look at the system as a whole? Where is the temperature the highest? Where is the temperature the lowest? And explain each little process and what exactly happens on a putt-putt boat. Well, as we just said, where temperature is the highest, everything up and to the right is at its highest. And where temperature is the lowest, everything down and to the left. Well, if we look at everything up and to the right, there's only one part in this graph where it goes up, and that's from C to A. So A is definitely one of our points that it is at its highest temperature, but it's not the only point. Since process A to B we said was isothermal, where temperature stays constant, A and B must have the same temperature, meaning that they are the highest points, they are the highest temperature at those two points. So this is the obvious question, where is the lowest temperature? The other point on the graph, point C, has to be the lowest temperature, because as you see, 
the direction is to the left and is much farther down than both A and B. So A and B are where the temperature is highest and C is where the temperature is the lowest. Now let's look to explain each part and what is happening to the pup pup boat. Well, let's start with A to B. We know that since they are the highest temperature, water must be turning to steam at this point because that's where the highest is the highest temperature at 100 degrees Celsius. Though the boat also must be going forward at this point as water is being turned into steam. As look from B to C, we know that water must be going back into the engine in order to restart this process for making the boat go forward and putting. As we go from C to A, we know the water is being heated by the candle. As we said in A to B, the water is being turned into steam. Well, in order for it to turn into steam, it has to be heated up. So a heat source, a candle, or any heat source will have to heat up the water inside the motor or engine to turn it into steam. So that is what is occurring at C to A. And that is the explanation of a pup-pup boat and its PV diagram and all of its separate parts and the system as a whole.